Hey guys, so a lot of people are confused about solar panels and shading, and they think that if half of it's shaded, it's gonna produce half the power, but that's wrong. So we're gonna do a quick experiment. So you can see back here, I have a watt meter directly connected between a solar panel and a converter, and this converts from 24 to 12 volt at 90% efficiency to a big resistor or a heat pad. So we can see how much power it is producing. So now it's time for the test. Right now we're producing 34 to 35 watts continuous. When I put my hand on only one cell, just one little square on this panel, it drops to 1.1, 1.90, 1.1, 0, so practically nothing. And this is because these solar panel cells are wired in series. So if you cover up one of them, it will affect this whole chain of solar panels. But if you are wiring up a system, understand that if one part of your panel is shaded, it will significantly decrease the power output. So let's do another test. Let's cover only half of one of these cells and it's at 34 watts, 34.5. So it's okay if you cover up only half of the cell, but the moment you cover up the entire cell, it drops to one watt. So huge decrease the moment that one full cell is covered because this whole chain will be compromised. So you want all the cells to be exposed to sunshine if you want a solar panel to produce power. Also keep in mind that if this was in series with another solar panel and I shaded this cell, the other panel wouldn't produce any power at all because they're in series. So yeah, I just want to show you guys that quick little video, fun experiment. Also, you can use these converters to power 12 volt appliances without a solar charge controller. There's enough capacitors in here to even out the fluctuating voltage. That you can actually power appliances. So I might make another video about that, but it's pretty straightforward. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe if you liked it and I'll talk to you later. Bye.